year uh, as to uh, the prices that they'll be liable for. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. Senator Seward. President, Mr. President, my question is to the Minister for Employment, Senator Abetz. Minister, with youth unemployment at 12.5 per cent, today's report by Anglicare Australia, Beyond Supply and Demand, addressing the complexities of workforce exclusion in Australia, makes the point that workforce exclusion is complex and enduring, that, and that unemployment interventions ignore the nature of disadvantage and its relationship to workforce exclusion. Minister, the approach taken by government thus far assumes a level playing field where all unemployed people can obtain work if they want it hard enough. What is the gov why is the government ignoring the mounting evidence that workforce exclusion is complex? And have you directed the McClure Review, with its employment focus, to also quantify the impact that long periods without financial support will have on work readiness? Leader of the Government in the Senate, Minister for Employment, Senator Abetz. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I share Senator Seward's concern for youth unemployment. All unemployment is a scourge. It is something that we all should be united in overcoming in this chamber, especially for the young people of our nation who are seeking to make their way. That is why, as a first item of business, this government is concerned to restore the economy. And restoring the economy includes getting rid of the carbon tax, getting rid of the mining tax, red and green tape, reintroducing the Australian Building and Construction Commission and all the other changes we have made, including trying to get the budget back into shape. Turning to the specifics of workforce exclusion, that of course is a real blight. And if I might say, uh, for young people, the figure you quoted of about 12.5 per cent, I think it might be 13 half, still too high, but in some areas like in North Adelaide, in my home state of Tasmania, it is considerably higher. It is considerably higher. And that is why the government is concerned to do everything it possibly can to achieve young Australians getting into a job. Part of that, part of that includes an enhanced work for the dole scheme. It includes an enhanced scheme to assist young apprentices to get through their apprenticeship, because we know that if young people are able to get through their apprenticeships, the they'll— Senator Seward, a point of order. We've got less than 30 seconds left. I would really appreciate it if the minister could address the specific issue, which is around the lack of income support for six months. And I'm sure the minister understands the nature of my question. How does that relate to work readiness? Thank you. The question was slightly broader than that. The minister has been relevant. He does have 25 seconds left. Minister. Thank you, Mr. President. And of course, the uh, other part of the honourable senator's question related to the McClaw report, uh, which the government is considering a very comprehensive review of a range of welfare assistance. We believe that there are uh, certain incentives needed for young Australians to get them into work to get them into work and to avail themselves of the opportunities. And when you Thank know you, the Minister. The time for answering the question has expired. Supplementary question, Senator Seward. Thank you, Mr President. Organisations like the Brotherhood of St Lawrence have proposed that the role of government is not to punish job seekers, but rather to strengthen links between employers, service providers, educators and young people. Has the government considered that instead of investing in punitive job services approach, they could invest in transition processes and job brokers who would work with businesses and others to create work rather than punishing young people. Minister. Uh, Senator Seward, I think, hit the nail on the head at the very end of her question about the need to create work. And that is exactly what this government's economic agenda is all about. It is the social dividend that comes from getting rid of the carbon tax, getting rid of the mining tax, getting rid of the red and green tape, restoring the budget reintroducing the Australian Building and Construction Commission. And to say that those sort of policies somehow punish the young is to misunderstand the economic factors that do need to be manipulated to ensure that we get the social outcomes that both you, Senator Seward, and I want to achieve, and that is greater employment opportunities for our young Australians. And that is why, for example, in the education reforms, there will be another 80,000 places created, made available 
for young Australians. There will be more positions, Thank hopefully, you, Minister, in the apprenticeship the question area as well. Senator Seward, final supplementary. Thank you. The Anglicare report released today is a timely reminder that we need to work with individuals and view them as individuals. Does the government recognise this changing relationship between workers and employees where the nature of work has changed substantially to more casual and part-time jobs, and that part-time job is, in fact, a way into longer-term employment? Why has the government not considered the business wage subsidies they're going to be providing uh, also, should also be made available for part-time work, not just full-time work? Minister. Mr President, uh, once again it's a bit spooky, but I'm agreeing with Senator Seawick yet again. There is a need to tailor things for individuals, and that is why I look forward to the Greens supporting our changes to the individual flexibility arrangements that we are going to be moving to the Fair Work Act, because it is through those individual flexibility arrangements that will give opportunities to more young Australians. To more young Australians, individual flexibility arrangements, Senator Collins, that your own government introduced. Order, Senator Collins. That your own government introduced. Your own government had a review, and that review Order. said changes needed to be made. Senator Seward, point of order. Order, Minister. Senator Seward, point I of order. I understand the fact that the minister wants to go on about IR and his changes there. I actually asked him specifically about the wage subsidy and whether it relates and it's intended whether it relates to part-time jobs. I really appreciate it if he'd answer that particular question. Again, Senator Seward, your question was broader than just that, but, and I'll draw the minister's attention to the question. The minister is being relevant. Senator, you have the call. Mr President, look, everybody wants a full-time job. There has been, regrettably, a degree of casualisation in the workforce and part-time jobs. The good news is that if you do get yourself a part-time job or a seasonal job, there is a lot greater chance that you can then move on to full-time